Alright, so first thing we're going to do is install, download and install the, uh, the GCC compiler. So uh, first thing, go to this site. No, not this one. Uh, www.sourceforge.net slash projects slash min gw m i n g w going to click on download I just wait a few seconds so it start to download so once once is it's downloaded you want to run it and install it I already have this installed in the system so uh, but you're gonna go ahead and install it the normal way you're gonna install it in this directory very important MINGW just type exactly as it is showing here capital M lowercase i n g w uh, capital G W as I said the application already been installed so I'm just gonna gonna uh, run it so there are many uh, packages here but you want to make sure uh, the one you really need to be installed click on basic setup and make so make sure the G uh, the uh, the C++ compiler is installed this is the GCC compiler this uh, installation is for the Windows it's uh, I'm going to show how to install on the Mac too. So we're doing Windows first. Now you're going to go to the command prompt CMW, CMD. And you're going to type exactly as I'm showing. Pat equals C min GW bin semicolon percentage sign path percentage sign and hit enter now what you're doing here you're setting up the path so the, the compiler will run but you can also go to the start uh, control panel security uh, system and security system advanced settings environment variables down here you search for path click on it edit and place that information in there the, the variable value for the for the compiler exit go back to the start type CMD and let's uh, test it to see if it's working GCC and there it is if you get this message that means the compiler is working fine so the GCC is set up for Windows now we're gonna install Eclipse Okay, now um, just type www.eclipse.org. You're gonna click on download. Make sure you select the right compiler. 
C and C++ developers. Select for the right system. In this case, this is a 64-bit system. Click the link to download, and it will start downloading. The installation for Eclipse, it's it's very simple actually. It's, it's basically uh, you're just gonna unzip the file into the the directory, a selected directory you choose. Just give it a second so it will download. Okay, so uh, we're gonna create. Uh, on my case, I created a directory called Eclipse underscore C plus plus. I I like to keep things organized, so uh, and under that directory, create a directory called Projects, which is where you're gonna we're gonna uh, run our uh, projects. So once you have that directory uh, created. You can name it however you want. Create the directory on a C drive. Try to keep it the same because once I, I show how to uh, install this on the Mac, it will also be in a similar uh, kind of directory. So we're going to unzip all the content from the, the Eclipse download into that directory on the C drive. Again, you can name it whatever you want but I, I name it Eclipse C++ now we're gonna right click on this icon and we're gonna send it to desktop what that is going to do is create a shortcut for the Eclipse IDE on the desktop Okay. Um, we're gonna go to uh, window. Once you open the uh, the Eclipse IDE, we're gonna set up. Uh, we're gonna do some settings here, and this needs to be done on the Windows and Mac. So, on the general workspace, make sure the text file encoding is UTF-8 and the new text file line delimiter it's other and unix click apply since we are developing for multi-platform we want to make sure these settings are correct under general editor text editors we want to basically check everything that um, I have it checked here leave this one and this one unchecked. I'm not explaining exactly what each step is because I want to get the uh, IDE set up pretty quick so we can start the lessons. So under C, C++, new C, C++ project wi wizard, select MinGWGCC. Now this is for Windows. It will be different from for, for the Mac. Make uh, to change preferred applied. Make sure you select it for empty project uh, under editor folding. Enable folding. Uh, basically, just uncheck everything below these three, but keep this three checked click apply okay and now let's test it if it's gonna uh, run so on the C directory 
make sure you have the project so this is where all the files for that project will be for organization purpose uh, it's better to do that so we're gonna build the C++ project this is the hello world that comes pre-built with the Eclipse IDE. So we're going to run and if everything works fine it should print the hello world message on a console on the bottom. And that is correct. Everything working good here. Now we're going to do the setup for the Mac. I'm going to go to uh, open your web browser. I got Google Chrome on the Mac. So, I'm going to open a second tab. On the first one, we're going to type macports.org. And on the second one, GCC, so you can find uh, about uh, the GCC compiler. I'm trying to find out the current version here, which is at this date is 4.9 on Mac ports we're gonna go to available downloads I'm gonna scroll all the way down for the latest release we need to find out which Mac we have so under the nice Apple there we're gonna click uh, the version of operating system we have version 10.9.4 okay so if we need to find out which the name of this Mac just type Mac and the version you just find out about 10.9.4 and that is the Maverick version 10.9.4 Mavericks, finesse at the end. Okay, so uh, we're gonna download, uh, preferable the latest one. Check the date once you find the the correct package for the system you have. Click on it. Accept. Keep. Once it's done, we're gonna install it normal. Just click continue until you you have the packages installed into your Mac. Agree. Leave everything as default. So we can close this one. So we, we're basically installing the GCC compiler now into the uh, Macintosh. Just give it a second. Okay, so um, once we have the Mac ports uh, installation done, you open any folder because we need to access the uh, command prompt. So under applications, under utilities. Click on terminal. Now you're gonna type everything exactly as I do here to finish the setup. 
um, we want to make sure we know the the GCC version which is 4.9 so we're gonna type sudo port self update just give it a second until it does everything it needs to do once we've done this uh, we uh, in this Mac I need to set up the Java develop uh, development uh, kit also which on Windows I I didn't show how to do it but I'm gonna show it here but it's it's very similar we basically need the GCC compiler the Java development kit so Eclipse can run and Eclipse on both machines on the Windows Mac and the uh, the required uh, software okay so again we know we have uh, the latest version is GCC.9 you can find that on the G dot, uh, www.gcc.gnu.org so we're gonna type sudo port install GCC four nine and hit enter so we're gonna install the latest release now this will take some time uh, depending on on your machine so I'm gonna freeze the video a little bit here and, and move Okay, almost there. Okay, it's going to continue up uh, installing and updating everything it needs to do. You will know that it is done once you get the uh, the command prompt back, and there it is. All right. Now, just like we tested on uh, uh, on the Windows system, we're gonna do one a few more things. So, sudo port select set GCC MP GCC 49 and hit enter hash GCC Hit enter after each one. Now we're going to test it to see if it's working. GC, GCCV. And now we have basically the same uh, kind of this. Kind of the same message that we did on the That shows that GCC compiler is working. Now we're going to configure the Java development. Okay, <clears throat> so we want to go to the um, uh, to the Java SE development kit uh, download. Make sure you select the correct download for your system. Just gonna refresh so I got the uh, license agreement accept button. So download the on this case the Mac OS uh, X64 I'm gonna click on it so it starts downloading it 
again we are installing the GCC compiler the Java development kit and the clips on all uh, on, on both machines so we're gonna go to the Eclipse website and download the C C++ um, IDE for the correct system give it back to Eclipse by donating uh, click on the download link and now we can close both because we have them uh, being downloaded down here okay so we have the JDK downloaded you might be wondering uh, why we're installing Java development uh, uh, software packages basically Eclipse needs that to run because Eclipse was programmed with, uh, with Java okay I'm just gonna wait until the next uh, uh, download the Eclipse download is done um, you don't have to but I kind of like to because of the way uh, the software is installed on on uh, clusters on a hard drive I don't want to uh, I want to do uh, I want to avoid uh, defragmentation uh, the necessity of defragmentation so double click on the JDK 7 install put your password on the Mac we're gonna install and test everything to make sure it's working remember the settings that I showed before needs to be applied on the Mac also now we're gonna uh, unzip the uh, Eclipse It's the same principle as on Windows I'm gonna I created a, a folder on a, on, a, on a desktop with my name where I keep all, all of my stuff in it so uh, I created another fo a subfolder inside my name called Eclipse and you're just gonna drag everything to wherever you choose to install <coughs> just keep it in mind uh, for organ to be organized and I like to keep the project files inside the same directory so uh, <coughs> we're gonna create a folder inside the Eclipse directory and we're gonna call it just like on the Windows projects I, I kind of did this before but I misspelled project so I'm gonna delete it move to trash now we have the location for our projects now we wanna drag just like we did on Windows drag it but right here as you can see it's already there so I'm not gonna put a second icon there so now I'm gonna leave this open so you see uh, where the fires are gonna go click on the Eclipse the workspace we're gonna select the directory where we uh, created the project folder so all of the projects we'll do will go into that folder click browse Eclipse projects and open and click here so this message doesn't pop up every time you start Eclipse so all the files will be created under the projects all the projects will be created under the projects uh, directory I mean. I lost my cursor for a second here I can't see the cursor okay All right. So 
we're going to click on a workbench. Now, I'm going to show you how the project will be created under this folder. I'm going to leave it here to the side so we can see it. So, we're going to create a C++ project. We're going to use the Hello World test. And different from the Windows, we're going to select the Mac OS X GCC. We're going to call this test one uh, project. So it will be created inside the projects folder. Click next. Put your name and now the, your, your uh, copyright information. Next and finish. So the project is created inside the projects folder under the Eclipse directory. That's where the source code and everything will be. Now we're going to test this. Give Eclipse a second so it uh, parses everything. So uh, now the same principle as we did with uh, Windows. We're going to build the project first. And we're going to run it. So, just like on a Windows, if everything is right, we should have the Hello World message being printed here. And that's it. This is how you set up uh, the IDE for Windows and Mac. Now we're ready to start the, uh, the lessons.